Yo my people them, CFC, Riddest Blue, back with our video and this is a Chelsea news update and this is in regards to Christopher Nkunku, Victor Ozzyman, Ivan Tony, Conor Gallagher and Robert Sanchez. But before we get into the video, you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea videos from me. And help me get 600 subscribers before the end of the week. Thank you for your support across all platforms. You guys, for all the other platforms, check out in the description below. And also, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your week. But yeah, man, let's get into the news update. And of course, we're going to start off with Christopher Nkunku, my brother. And boy, Nkunku, as you can see from the video, his leg, he's working it. He's making his knee get stronger. And he's eventually going to return to light training. But a report came out to discuss the training plans revealed. And this is um, what was reported by Football London. So there is optimism that Nkunku could return to action before 2024 as he steps up his recovery. According to Simon Phillips Talks Chelsea, the summer signing is splitting his time between Paris, where Nkunku is visiting specialists, and London, where he continues to recover and do physio work. The 25-year-old is close to return to cardio work, which is a key step towards him returning to first-team training. Phillips wrote, Chelsea will soon be setting up with light training before introducing him back into full team training. They will be super careful and cautious as they, re as they look to reintroduce Nkunku to training and back into the squad. But it's sounding positive right now and the recovery is going well. We should soon be seeing him back in Chelsea training gear at the very least and then in a match day squad. So, hey man, these are good news. And these are things that I was just saying because if you've seen other videos that I've done, I have always been saying that Nkunku will be ready by December at the latest. Like maybe he might not be ready for like the day I want him to be ready, December 6th against Manchester United, even for him to be on the bench. That might be close, too close to call, but that's about what, seven weeks away. We don't know what will happen during that time. And if he's not ready by then, but by midway through December, he should be back and it's not long it's not long christopher and kunku is someone that we have been needing desperately because our goal scoring was why i feel like if he was in the squad we would have scored a lot more goals and he's just his attack and prowess i mean that's to bring other people into the game create chances score goals he can do everything that's why for me he's the spot in this attack and once he gets back you're gonna see it but I just can't wait to see him because he is a baller and we need him because he is the spot. But Christopher and Kunku, I hope you continue recovering well, keep up the good work and look forward to seeing you in Chelsea shirt in the Premier League soon enough. But yeah, man, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Christopher and Kunku in the comment section below. But now... We're going to move on to a joint topic, Victor Ozzyman and Ivan Tony, And this is continuing talks about our striker situation. Both Ivan Tony and Victor Ozzyman have been linked to Chelsea. With January moves not out of the, not out of the, um, the question. Ivan Tony, he has been banned, hasn't played any Premier League football for this season. But Brentford will be looking to um, sell him in January. And teams like Arsenal, teams like Chelsea have been called to be very interested. But yeah, man, it's going to be an interesting saga with Ivan Tony, who I believe will be available for at least, what, like 60 million, which is a good deal for someone who has Premier League experience, scored 20 plus goals in the league. This is um, a very good deal, but I don't necessarily think that he will be coming to Chelsea. But we're going to have to wait and see. And for the Victor Ozzyman report, boy, Victor Ozzyman, this is the guy that I actually want. And this is the guy that I would have wanted us to get during the summer because we have been linked to him for a while now, for a while. 
So the situation with him is that Napoli, hey, him and Napoli are having some disputes because there was some racial stuff that came out. Napoli posting like racially abusive stuff about Osman. And now that's thrown this whole saga into a frenzy because we're going to be honest, before that, he might have left this January, let alone next summer. But now, January, it could be a potential move. Um, Napoli would want at least like 100 mil or sign for Victor Osman. But we have to wait and see because he's not trying to sign a new contract. There's been contract talks, but he's not trying to sign it. And why would you? After you've seen that this club has done racial stuff, like how could someone in the club like upload something that's racially abusing Victor Osman, their own player. Like it doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. And that's the Napoli situation. So I'd be real to you. Hopefully we can get Osman because the reason why I feel like he's the most ideal player, even though Ivan Tony has the experience. Victor Osman is younger than him, faster than him. He has great link up play. He has great hold up play. Finishing with his left foot, right foot, header. My man's got that in abundance. So, and the fact that obviously people coming from Italy or just other leagues in general, they might not have the um, physical attributes to fit the Premier League. But Victor McOsman does. He's tall, strong, pace. Like, he would suit this league very well. It wouldn't take him long to get adjusted to it, which is the reason why like, I would favour him over Ivan Tony. It's going to be a bigger deal because obviously Ivan Tony 60 million and Victor Osman nearly double the price. It's going to be interesting, but the one thing you know about Chelsea is that when it comes to money, we got that. And if we want a player, really want him, we will go and get him. So I look forward to seeing how this saga plays out because eventually we will have a new striker. Nicholas Jackson, Armando Broja don't really look like they are trusted enough in order to get the job done for the long term. So if we ever do get in a Victor Osman or Ivan Tony, it will be good because that will fix our goal scoring roles where we have been like that's been our, our Achilles Hill scoring goals. So once we get that sorted, it will be a problem for other teams. But yeah, man, that's gonna be it for me. Regarding the Victor Osman, I haven't told you updates. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Would you want us to get Ivan Tony? Would you want us to get Victor Osman? Let me know in the comments. But now we are going to move on to Conor Gallagher. And this is more news that come out. And this is based on the fact that Conor Gallagher and Chelsea, there are no contract talks between them at the moment. He's still set to become a free agent at the end of next season, not the end of this season, the next one, 2025. That's when his contract expires and will almost certainly be the subject of fresh tool, fresh transfer interest in January if no significant progress is made on a new contract between now and then. So, yeah, man. Conor Gallagher, considering how he's played so far this season, he is a very good player so far. And he's doing well for us in the midfield. He's been a bright spark, not only obviously against Arsenal, which was a very good game, but he's been playing every single game this season. And he has um, very good attributes. So Pochettino is getting the best out of him right now. Sure enough, goals would be, would be the thing I want more from him. But in terms of the energy, playing a role, getting a job done, He's been doing it very well, so I have to big him up for that. And it's going to be interesting to see if he does get a new contract, which I wouldn't think is out of the question due to how well he's been performing. So it's going to be a very, very interesting one. His contract doesn't expire until 2025, so we literally have another, what, 18 months before his contract expires. we got time on our hands, but it's going to be interesting to see because... If we don't sign him to a new contract soon enough, he might be going this summer, but we have to wait and see on that note. Wait and see, but yeah, man, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on Conor Gallagher. You want him to sign a new contract? Do you want me to be here for the long term? Let me know in the comment section below. And now 
you're going to move on to Robert Sanchez. And this is just the thing where, obviously, Chelsea, with obviously Chelsea and Arsenal match, Sanchez made a blunder, giving the ball to Declan Rice, which inevitably helps Arsenal get into the game and helps them get a draw because without that mistake, we win the game. And a lot of people have been calling for Sanchez, but the Chelsea, the Chelsea staff, they are backing him. And this is the report that came out. Chelsea are not looking to replace Robert Sanchez. He has an important advocate at Cobham in Ben Roberts, his former goalkeeping coach at Brandon Hove Albion, and now global head of goal, and now global head of goalkeeping at Chelsea. There is a belief he has all the tools to become one of the best goalkeepers in the world. So that final statement, we're gonna have to wait and see if that is true. Because as of right now, I feel like Sanchez is a good keeper, but he's gonna need a lot of time if he wants to um, become one of the best. But who knows? One season can change everything. Just look at Edouard Mendy. One minute, no one knew him. Next minute, he's the best goalkeeper in the world, helping Chelsea win the Champions League. So, obviously, Sanchez ain't going to be doing that. But to improve himself, he needs to do a lot more because that blunder against Arsenal is not ideal. Even to an extent, he did against Brian in the Carabao Cup as well. We just didn't get punished for it. He is a player who's been making mistakes, but a lot of goalkeepers in the league make mistakes. So I wouldn't necessarily drop him. Obviously, there's Petrovic there, and a lot of people might want to play him, but Sanchez, let's not blame him too much. He's still a good goalkeeper. He's saved us numerous amount of times already this season, and this is his biggest blunder, and it cost us two points. It's not a big enough thing for me to drop him, but... Obviously, he needs to pick up the performances that they were before because if more performances like that happen, eventually he will get dropped because we'll be given no other choice. So, yeah, man, Robert Sanchez. I'm going to still stick with him, see how he goes for the next couple of weeks. I don't think he will do anything like he did against Arsenal or Brighton, but who knows? You never know, but hopefully he doesn't because then we're going to have a serious problem in the goalkeeping department. But, yeah, man. That's going to be it. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on each topic. Christopher Nkunku, Ivan Tony, Victor Ozerman, Conor Gallagher, Robert Sanchez. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Willis Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea, come on Chelsea.